Look closely at this math problem. You have just three seconds to solve it. Ready? Three, two, one. Your answer was 10, wasn't it? I know how you solved it. You thought this two would cancel out that two, leaving you with 50 divided by five, which is how you got 10. Neat and logical, right? But that is the exact trap 90% of people fall into. Or others trying to follow the math left to right by doing 50 divided by 5, then dividing by 2, then multiplying by 2, still end up right back at 10. Different path, same incorrect destination. The problem is, math doesn't follow good feelings. It follows strict order of operations. So if 10 is wrong, what is the correct answer? 40? 250? To finally solve this problem, you need to know two golden rules that most people completely forgot they learned in school. Let's dive in. Rule 1. The KFC Rule. Oh no, this has nothing to do with the fast food restaurant. It's simply a clever way to remember what to do when dividing fractions. That's where the KFC rule comes in. KFC stands for three simple steps. K means keep the first fraction exactly as it is. F means flip the second fraction, turning it upside down. And finally, C means change the division sign to multiplication. That's all there is to it. This rule transforms division into multiplication, making everything easier and consistent. So if we have the fraction A over B divided by the fraction C over D, according to KFC, we follow three steps. First, keep A over B. Second, flip C over D, turning it into D over C. And third, change the division sign to multiplication. That's it. Just three simple steps to conquer fraction division. Let's see the KFC rule in action with some real examples. First example, we have two-thirds divided by three-fourths. We keep two-thirds. We flip three-fourths to four-thirds. And we change division to multiplication. Now we get two-thirds multiplied by four-thirds. Multiplying across gives us eight-ninths. Or take this one. 10 divided by 2 thirds. Remember, 10 is the same as the fraction 10 over 1. Again, we keep 10 over 1. We flip 2 thirds to 3 halves. And we change division to multiplication. 10 over 1 multiplied by 3 over 2 equals 30 over 2, which simplifies to 15. Now that we know how to properly divide fractions, we're ready for the second rule the one that tells us when to do what. Rule number two, the order of operations, PEMDAS. To avoid chaos in mathematics, mathematicians created a universal system, a fixed order that everyone must follow. This principle determines which operations take priority and must be performed first. If this is making sense so far and you're learning something new, take a second to hit the like button and subscribe. All right. Let's break down the PEMDAS rule properly. It stands for P for parentheses, E for exponents, M and D for multiplication and division. Remember, they have equal priority, A and S for addition and subtraction. These also have equal priority. These operations must be performed in this exact order to ensure the correct result. But here's the part where many people get confused. Multiplication and division share the same rank, and addition and subtraction also share the same rank. This means you don't always multiply before you divide, and you don't always add before you subtract. You simply scan the expression from left to right and perform whichever operation shows up first at that level. Let's see exactly how this works with an expression that looks simple but is surprisingly deceptive. 10 minus 8 divided by 2 thirds. Many people rush into subtraction first. 10 minus 8 equals 2. Then they try to deal with the fraction and end up with the wrong answer, usually 3. But according to PEMDAS, subtraction comes after multiplication and division. So, we must solve the division first. 
we look at the section. 8 divided by 2 thirds. Here, we use the KFC rule. We keep the 8. We flip 2 thirds to 3 halves. And we change division to multiplication. Now, we simplify the multiplication. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12. So the original expression becomes 10 minus 12 equals negative 2. And that is the correct answer. If you'd like to go deeper into PEMDAS and see more tricky examples, I definitely recommend watching a full video just on that topic. So let's solve our original problem. According to PEMDAS, division and multiplication have equal priority. So we start from the left and handle the division first. 50 divided by 5 halves. We use the KFC rule. We keep 50. We flip 5 halves to 2 fifths. And we change division to multiplication. Now, we solve this from left to right. 50 multiplied by 2 is 100. 100 divided by 5 is 20. And 20 multiplied by 2 equals 40. And that's it. The correct answer is 40. Congratulations. You've just broken your old habit. One last thing. If someone uses just the KFC rule correctly in this specific problem, they actually don't even need the PEMDAS rule at all. Because the moment you apply KFC, the entire expression turns into a clean multiplication. Now it's your turn. Here's the final challenge. 2 plus 10 divided by 2 fifths. Looks easy, right? When you've got your answer, drop it in the comments below. Let's see who's actually paying attention and remembers the two golden rules. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button and subscribe for more quick math puzzles like this. Thanks for watching.